George couldn't wait for his newspapers to be sun-dried. George had promised Bill he'd deliver all these papers. If it didn't get done, Bill could lose his job. Maybe the man with the yellow hat knew where to get dry papers. But George forgot to watch where he was going. Fortunately, he was wearing a helmet. Unfortunately, the bike was not. The walk home was a long one for George. Hi, George. Are you looking for someone to repair that wheel? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> no, not Leslie. Come on. <laughs> you think you could get George's wheel rolling again? I know I can. <laughs> this. It seemed to be going well, but George felt he should help. A wrench. George knew how to use that. Hey, <gasps> ah! That looks good. Now let's fix these spokes. <laughs> Terrific! Huh? Next, we check balance. Ah. That looks good. Now the tube. All right. Aha! Uh -huh. Just needs a patch. Is that wrench? <laughs> oh, thank you, George. <laughs> All we need now is some air in the tires. George hadn't helped as much as he wanted to. <laughs> Perhaps one or two minor adjustments. He did, however, know how to use a pump. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. George rushed home to tell the man with the yellow hat about his paper problem. George, I have a surprise for you. Huh? Oh, George, Bill came by. Apparently, some people didn't get their newspapers today. Yep, one lady saw a duck riding in a newspaper boat, but it wouldn't get out and let her read the headlines. <gasps> Suddenly, George remembered he hadn't told the man with the yellow hat about his paper problem. <laughs> Hey, hold on, George. How about we just buy a few dry papers and deliver them right now? Yeah. And so, George was able to finish his route just like a real paper boy. Maybe I should buy a new bike for myself, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>